I'd like to talk to you about a pen that I just got recently, and it's another Mont Blanc, and it is the cutest, tiniest, sweetest little pen ever. It is the Mont Blanc Heritage Rouge and Noir Baby, and I have the ivory color right here. Look at how cute it is. Isn't that the cutest little pen you've ever seen? Oh my gosh, so it's a little pocket pen. It's the tiniest thing. I've already got it inked up and writing with it. And so you have the Mont Blanc emblem at the top of the finial and then there's like a textured gold ring around that. And so when it's together, it's actually quite small. In fact, I will hold it up next to the 149. So you can see there's a huge size difference between these two pens. So this is a pocket pen. It's meant to be, you know, tiny, portable, whatever. And I, what I like about it, this compact size, it's actually inspired by Mont Blanc pens of the 1920s. So there was a pen, I guess, similar to this in style that was around back in the 1920s, so like 100 years ago. So I really appreciate the history behind that. So this is a special edition. I don't know if it's limited or not, but it's just a little something that they've added to their lineup. And it is just the cutest little interpretation of a vintage pen. So the really cool and unique thing that this pen does is the cap actually, it is a snap cap. So it pulls on and off, but in order to make it a larger pen, it screws onto the back of the barrel. So it actually does two different things, which I think is really unique. I don't think I've ever come across a pen that has a snap cap and screws onto the barrel. If there is one out there that I'm not aware of or that you guys know of, go ahead and you know put that in the comments. I'm kind of curious to know if there's something out there like this. With the cap posted to the end of the barrel, it is still a tiny pen. It's still adorable but it's perfect to carry around with you. And it does have a little weight to it. This is a metal pen, and according to the description, it has precious lacquer on it. Precious lacquer. One of the things I do like about when you post this cap to the barrel is like the turns, it's only like one, like it's like a half turn actually, let's see. Maybe it's one full turn, but it's pretty, it's very short. So it takes nothing to post this cap, which I really like. The nib is, it is a 14 karat gold medium nib. And I've already inked this up. I've been writing with it. You know, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just start doing it because I, I'd like to enjoy the pen. I, I like to reveal the surprise with you guys of the unboxing and the inking and the writing with it for the first time. But when the pen gets here, it is so hard to not ink it up and enjoy it. And so I just, I cannot help myself. So that's what I've been doing lately. Um, but the the medium nib, it, it has a little bounce to it. It's very fun to write with and I really enjoy that. It does have a plastic feed and it has a metal section, which I don't mind in this case. I think the metal section actually works very nicely with the overall design of the pen. Uh, but I think it's, it is a very adorable pen. I mean, oh, and one more thing. So it doesn't have a converter. So it is only, you can only use cartridge. And what this pen did come with is, it came with a demonstration little cartridge. And so what I did is I took that out and I just took a syringe and I put ink in it. And you'll see that in the video. Uh, I'm gonna post a separate video of me inking the pen. Another interesting thing I found about this pen is that inside of the barrel, there's a spring. And so when I put the, I don't know if it's the, maybe it's to hold the cartridge in place so nothing moves around, but you can feel it when you put this, the section back together with the barrel and you can feel there's a bit of a spring in it, which is kind of interesting. Design is very nice on this and it's just it's a very nice pen really like it i saw it for the first time actually um aziza gourmet pens have one and she had posted a picture of this to her instagram feed and 
I saw it and I immediately fell in love. I was like, I have to have that pen. I, I love things that are miniature and you know, it's a Mont Blanc, it's a special edition. I was like, okay, why not? Let's look at the packaging it came in. So it's actually, it's not as over the top as when you get a Mont Blanc 149. So it doesn't come in the giant box. The little baby, or if you watch, if any of you guys are Schitt's Creek fans, uh, there's a character on there named Moira Rose, and she says, because in my mind, I'm saying bebe. So that's how she says it. So it's like the Mont Blanc bebe. I don't know. If you guys watch the show, you'll see what I mean. She even miss, she says uh, enchiladas. Enchiladas. It's the funniest show. So if you guys have a chance to ever watch it, watch it. Um, I love that show. But anyway, back to the box. So it comes in. Uh, the box is a plain white cover and it has a description of the pen here on the end of it. So you take that off and inside, so you have a very simplistic, kind of cool looking design for the baby. And um, so I like all the, the cool lines going on here. It's very cool looking. I just realized I'm not wearing my microphone. So if this sounds bad, I apologize, but I, there's no turning back now. Hopefully I'm talking loud enough where you can hear me okay and it's not too echoey, but I'd just like to offer my, my apologies. The next video I'll pop on that microphone. My bad. This slides out and within the box there is a little bit of a catalog. So this is the Heritage Rouge et Noir Bebe Special Edition. And so basically inside of here, there is, you have some images of the pen. By the way, I don't know if I said it before, it also comes in black and silver. So if you are not into the ivory color, maybe the black and silver is more your speed. But it even has some retro-like imagery on here. I, I just think the, the overall, the design is very simplistic but I think the thought is really awesome. The pen also came in this cotton sleeve and inside of it, in order to protect the pen, it had a cardboard sleeve that it was in, in addition to that. So the pen came all packaged up in here, ready to go. There is also included in here a service guide. So there is a, you know, a warranty with this. Let's see if I can see. There's an international warranty and it has a little QR code you can look it up with. Now here's my gripe. This is the part where I start to rant. So the one gripe I do have about this pen, is just a cartridge pen. It only takes cartridges. And the one thing that this pen did not come with was a cartridge. You've seen my videos before and these videos where I open it up and if it's a cartridge converter system, I automatically use the converter, right? Cause I like to pick the ink that I, I use for these pens. And I open this up and all it has is the demonstration cartridge inserted into the pen. They did not include a Mont Blanc cartridge to use with this pen. Why? I mean, come on, man. If this pen only uses cartridges. Why not include one in there? That is like, I don't know, the black or blue ink. I have to double check. I'm not for sure if the Mont Blanc cartridge is proprietary, but what if it was? So then I have to like go out of my way to go order some Mont Blanc cartridges so I can use my pen because I can't. But you know what? Luckily enough, I had a syringe I had, uh, I have all kinds of bottles of ink here. I picked Jay Urban's um, Cacao de Brazil. I think it's a beautiful color. It goes with the ivory very nicely. Got my syringe and I just put some ink into the demo cartridge that was included and I saved myself like eight bucks. I think a pack of, a pack of cartridges is a pack of eight is like $8 US. So it's a dollar a cartridge. So whatever. I would think that being Mont Blanc, it 
probably is, but if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, I was like, why couldn't you just include a, why couldn't you just include a, a cartridge for crying out loud? Okay, rant over. I'm gonna go ahead and roll the footage of inking this pen and then I'll come back and talk to you about the price and where you can find it. As you can see, I had to take the syringe, get my own ink, and insert it into the cartridge that came installed into the pen. And it wasn't like a real cartridge of ink, it's just a cartridge, empty. Which is cool, because I didn't have to clean anything out. So, which is, that's, that's actually kind of nice. Overall, even without the cartridge, it's fine. I'll figure that out. Obviously, I did. I really like this pen a lot. It is very cool, it is cute, adorable, I love it. I mean, you can say so many things about this pen. I, I love the colors, because it's not actually, you know, it's not red, it's kind of an orange color, which I think is really nice. And so it, it looks just the gold, the orange, the ivory color, it all looks good together. It, it's just a great pen. I would love to get my hands on the black with silver trim, that would be cool. Maybe I will. So let's talk price because I would have to save up for that. So this pen in the US dollars, I found mine over at Colt Pens for $675. It's cheaper than what it is in the US, which I've seen over, it's upwards to about $800. So yeah, I got mine a little bit cheaper. Uh, they also have this pen not only at Colt Pens, I've also seen it at Applebone. And uh, Drongles, I believe, have the black and silver one. And Pen Boutique also carries Mont Blanc. So pretty much any place that carries Mont Blanc, they'll probably have this pen. Like I said previously, I don't know if it's a limited edition, if there is only a certain quantity that was made. I have to look into that. I think it's fabulous. It's a fabulous little pen. And if you can get this pen, get your hands on one. It's definitely, you know, it's even when it's posted, it's still kind of small. Uh, in fact, while I still have this rolling, let's compare it real quick to a Kaveco Sport. So here we go. So here is between the Bebe and the Sport. They're roughly about the same size when the cap is on. So yeah, as you can see, the baby is still a bit on the smaller side. So it is small. So if you have big hands or you prefer bigger pens, the baby is probably not for you. You probably, if you want a pocket pen uh, that is more substantial, a uh, Kaveco Sport probably be 
more your speed. For those of you who are like me, like small miniature pens and tiny things and novelties, then this Mont Blanc is for you. Well, I guess that's all I really have to say about this pen. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your viewership. I appreciate you tuning in and listening to me rant and talk about pens. And um, yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say about it. And that's how the ink flows. I can't like find where to put this. All right, that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>